Hello iedereen, welkom bij Let's Go. Today we're going to talk about small things. Very small, cute, little, tiny things. No, not kittens, not puppies, I wish, but rather diminutives and how to use them and when to use them and how to use them correctly. So first of all, I here need to make a reference to a previous video that I made in which talks about the cultural differences and, and general differences, language differences between uh, Flemish and Dutch. Please check it out here. And which I basically explained that the Netherlands in general does have a tendency to use diminutives a lot more uh, than we do in Flanders, which is also related to the culture of, you know, coziness, gezellig, as they say. Uh, so in the Netherlands, diminutives are a lot more commonly used than in Belgium, basically. Uh, so yeah, that is just something to be aware of. The standardized form of the diminutive, uh, the substantive, ends basically in je. Okay, and always takes the article hut. Beware, in Flanders, yeah, we always need to do something else or just be special or unique, or at least we think that we are, I don't know. So there we would use, uh, in spoken, informal Dutch, we would use ke. Okay, so uh, that's how you can recognize a diminutive in Flemish. Manneke, vrouwke, huiske, dingske, etc. Yeah, so ke is an indication of a diminutive in Flemish. Uh, so, in general, you can always use a dictionary um, to check out the rules uh, on how to use a diminutive and how to make a diminutive a specific noun if you're unsure and if you want to check out which dictionary to use, uh, check out my video here about that. Um, yeah, and in general, I don't think it's really worth to really learn all the rules by heart, maybe unless you were doing an exam or something. But even then, I think a lot of this stuff is just intuition and you'll just learn as you're going along. Um, and as you speak the language a lot more, you'll also discover when you can use a diminutive, when it would be appropriate. And then you would automatically also just discover, yeah, how to actually make the diminutive. Uh, so today I'm not going to, uh, you know, uh, overflow to you basically with uh, a bunch of rules or whatever. I'm just going to get read out a couple of diminutives that ends uh, in different um, endings, basically, that have a different ending towards the end. Uh, and just so you can hear a little bit of difference. So I'll start always with the substantive and singular, uh, simple, and then go to the diminutive. So kind, kindje, just add a je at the end. Schaap, schaapje, voet, voetje, bed, bedje. Kat, katje, neus, neusje. Uh, so also pay attention that we uh, tend to melt the T with the J or the D with the J together to like a CH sound. Betje, katje. Okay, voetje. Uh, then uh, the second way of making diminutive would be the CH sound. So T, J, E. So we add a T, E to the substantive, to the noun. De trui, het truitje. De rij, het rijtje. Het ei, Het eitje. De vrouw, het vrouwtje. And we could also add, depending on uh, the substantive, we could also add nutje. Nutje or lutje, and we would double the consonant at the end of the noun. De man, het mannetje. Het gezin, het gezinnetje. De bal, het balletje. Het ding, het dingetje. Which in Flemish, by the way, would be dingske, which is, you know. Uh, then uh, another one would be pie, pie. So then we add the pie uh, as a suffix to the noun. The oom het oompje, the bezem het bezempje, the duim het duimpje. Okay. So the fairy tale of little thumb would be klein duimpje, klein duimpje. Oh, how cute. Then finally, so these last two ways of making diminutives are in the vas minority, uh, which is with k ye e, k ye e, pje, uh, which would always be with nouns that end in end in ing. Verrassing, het verrassingje. De koning, het koninkje. De woning, het woningje. Okay. Uh, other than that, I'm not really going to give you any more rules. Just be aware of the cultural differences between Flemish and the Netherlands, uh, or Flemish rather, and Dutch, and when we would use a diminutive and when not. And in Flemish, we have ke uh, in spoken uh, Flemish, and uh, yeah, basically 
that is everything you need to know about the diminutive in the Dutch language. I hope this video was helpful. Leave a small, tiny, little comment in the small, tiny, little comment box down below. Laat een commentaartje in het commentaarvakje op dit YouTube kanaaltje. Dankjewel voor het kijken. Uh, geef een likeje met een duimpje. Dag.